Impressive, right? Stick around because I'm about to show you exactly how I created this scene. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my creative breakdowns. Let's go. I pick a random place in the Google Maps. The place name is Yesaulovskaya. Petlia, I will put it in the description. From the reference, I created and subdivide a plane and with the help of the sculpting tools, I created a terrain that looks similar to our reference. Now it's time for creating the lake. The lake will add more realism to the environment. The basic shaping of the environment is over. Now let's go to the next phase. And that is the texturing. From the Polyhaven site, I downloaded a simple mountain texture, added a bunch of trees using particle system for the mountain, and a sample HDRI image. After using the particle system for the mountain, it's time for the weight painting. We don't want the trees to fill all the areas, so we use weighted painting for the trees to add more realism to it. So next we have to set up the lake. In order to set up the lake, we need the water texture applied to a simple plane and by selecting the two vertices and expand it accordingly. You can decide the color of the lake. It's your choice. I decided to change to a medium dark greenish color. Now it looks like a nice scene. Our far scene is looks good now. Let's focus on the closest shots. The shot will be a child enjoying the great evening view. So for that, we need a terrain model. So I downloaded a terrain model from the Quixel Bridge it has a very good 3D assets in it. I duplicated the terrain model and setup according to the scene. Because of the moving scene, I have to fill right and left side of the particle system. You can see it's very easy to do. Now it looks good. It's time for the camera settings using the noise modifier. For the X and Z axis, I apply the noise modifier. We have to increase the scale and strength a little bit. My aim is to look like a handheld camera movement. Yeah, looks like a handheld camera. Something is missing. Right, we have to add the sky. To do that, import a sky image. Make it big. But the sky image plane is blocking the HDRI light. So in order to fix that, I rotate the plane and adjust so the HDRI light can come to the scene. You can see that the HDRI light is not enough. So we add a point and an area light to make the environment more realistic. Now for the closed scene, we have to fill with something. So I add a tree. The trees are from Botanique Aden. It's a very good Aden for the vegetation. It has variety of trees, plants, bushes, rocks, assets in it. Now our environment looks perfect. Camera movement is also nice. Now I have to add tiny details to the scene. Using the GeoScatter add-on, I scatter some grasses. Added a nice animation to it. Wow, looks perfect. It's time for the last phase, adding the VFX scene. I use a child enjoying video. I adjust the size and rotations of the plane. 
So I have to make sure that the VFX scene plane lighting is correct to our environment. So I manually add point and area lights. Now enjoy the result and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.